Imagine you're at work, you're having a final day, and your ex-girlfriend sends you a bouquet of flowers. You go downstairs to the office, you look at the office, and they say, oh, this is for you, and it's a bouquet of flowers from your ex-girlfriend. How are you ever gonna focus on the job you're doing when now you're thinking about these flowers that your ex-girlfriend sent to your job for a reason you don't know about? And because you don't know the reason, now you're doubly trapped in your head trying to figure out what the reason could be. Hey, stop playing Minesweeper. Of all the games you could be playing, you're playing Minesweeper, and Minesweeper has some real world implications. Before I keep ranting and raving, let me just explain why I'm all fired up about Minesweeper today. I was drinking my coffee, having a good time, jamming in my head. I was like, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, writing my stuff down, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I saw this dog, right? This dog walked up to this table. And all the people at the table, they stood up and they're like, Poto, Poto, Poto. And the dog was just so happy. And I was like, that's so cute. It touched my heart. And I felt just so good. And I was like, oh, writing, writing, writing. And then what happened? I took my phone out and I said, oh, well, I guess I should probably share this experience with people so they can feel happy too. And the moment I started looking through my phone, my head started exploding. Because everyone's always playing Minesweeper by themselves, they're having a good time, they're focusing on their work, they're not hitting any bombs. But you know what happens? Then they're like, let me just take out my phone and let me just see what's happening over here. You're choosing to hit a bomb when you take your mind out of the moment and put it into another world. Because the phone world is another world and you're literally hitting a bomb. And what happens when you hit a bomb? You lose momentum in your thinking. Momentum is so important because when you lose it, it's really, really hard to build it back up. And you might be thinking, oh, well, one bomb isn't so bad. One bomb, but no, it's not one bomb. It's like two, three, four bombs. You keep hitting bomb to bomb to bomb to bomb. Instagram to Facebook to YouTube. Everything is another bomb because they're seeking to take you away from being in the moment. And I want you all, I want me more than anything to stop hitting these bombs. Because guess what? The minesweeper we have in our lives is more in our control than the minesweeper we're playing on the computer. On the computer, we don't know where those bombs are, so we have to focus to avoid them. But in real life, we know where the bombs are and we want to hit them because it's our habit to want to share these things because we have some idea in our head about success. It's like a sippy cup that we're just drinking from. Oh, I need to share these experiences. I hope I get the likes on Facebook. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no, everyone, please, please, please. Learn how to focus without having to detract yourself from the present moment. Because this video game is going to program your brain in a way that you're going to be hitting these bombs consistently throughout your day. And you're going to wonder why you don't have the energy, you don't have the focus to be able to maintain progress in what you're doing. And it's not bad. You just have to be situationally aware of when you're playing this video game. I want you all to be aware of this stuff because I need to be aware of this stuff. I think that ideas are the foundation for everything that we build in our lives. And if we keep destroying our ideas with little, little, little small habits, they're never going to progress to a point where other people can believe in them or where we can really even believe in them. Because look, unfounded belief, if you can't see it, you can't really believe it. And you can fool yourself for a while, but if you're not making progress towards making that vision a reality, bringing it out here for other people to see, you're not going to see it in real life. And then eventually, guess what? You're just going to be like, well, I guess I can try something else. That's what it means to be a scatterbrain. And Minesweeper is what I'm fired up about today. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Smash that like button. More of them are coming. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.